click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends today we are going to see what are patterns and what are its different types pattern are the core heart of a casting process casting cannot be possible to a much extent without the patterns so there are different types of basic patterns which we are going to study in this video pattern is the heart of casting process so there are different types of basic pattern obviously in complex shapes we can't rely on the same pattern again and again but there are some basic shapes in that some basic types of pattern can be required and are used on a large extent like a small coin has to made like 100 of coins have to make so you have to make the same same coin again and again so the same pattern can be used so in this way there are different types of standard pattern which can be used and i'm going to explain that one by one so the first pattern is split pattern then loose peak pattern there are gated pattern there are sweep pattern etc so we will be dealing that one by one so now this pattern is known as single piece pattern a single piece pattern in a single piece pattern what happens is the mold material directly enters the pattern it fills the space and for the entrance it required different gating system different objectives in a gating system different material in a gating system like the spruce pouring back basin etc so the material enters it fills the cavity and it is set for some time or it is cooled according to the requirement and finally your object is made this is single piece pattern so now this is the second pattern which is split pattern so in split pattern what happen is it is not a single piece it consists of a cope and a drag cope and drag are two basic part of a pattern so if where the single piece is not used cope and drag pattern is used the basic down part is known as drag upper one is known as cope and same the arrangement is same gating system is used but it is not a single piece it consists of a cope and a drag and it has to kept together material has to pour has to be poured and it gets filled and the pattern is made the next pattern is loose piece pattern so in loose piece pattern what the diagram actually says there are two loose pieces at the base so what happens is if something is there to fit if a small object is to be fitted in a parent object or a bigger object and there are n number of small objects and n number of parent objects so in that case a loose piece pattern which is you can say the son the you can say which is the daughter or the son of the parent object can be used and it has to be fitted in that place so n number of loose piece pattern can be made for n number of parent object so this kind of pattern is again used for multiple objects this is match plate pattern it is similar to split plate but a match plate is kept in case there are n number of split patterns which has to be matched the cope and drag what has to be matched the cope and drag has to be matched so that the material can enter inside and fill the cavity so for matching the cope and drag a plate is used which is known as match plate so the whole pattern basically is known as match plate pattern so this is sweep pattern it is a bit complex pattern in that what happens is there is a straight spindle sand is rammed ramming ramming in the sense what ramming is patting the sand so that it should fill the entire space we put sand we ram it we put sand we ram it we pat the sand so that it gets fitted and there is no porous air cavity inside the sand so there is a spindle there is a ram so the material is poured and it goes down as the spindle rotates it goes down it fills the space which is down the material is filled in the shape which is down by sweeping action of the spindle that's why the pattern is known as sweep pattern and as the whole material settle it sweeps and settles so this pattern is known as sweep pattern this is the next pattern known as gated pattern for explaining gated pattern i usually give an example of an ice case in an ice case water is filled 
we pour the water in the ice case. Imagine doing ice case is your pattern. We can pour water if the ice case is closed. We can put a pipe and pour water from a pipe to fill the cases. And with water, obviously, because you need, if you need water or you need any other object, but we are talking about water. So we fill it with water, we get ice, we use it. So gated pattern works in the same way. There's a single gate and there are different small, small cubes or different small, small sections. So the material comes from a single pipe. It goes to different section and it occupies, it's filled the section and it is cooled, it is solidified, it is gone under different heat treatments and finally the object is made. And the last pattern which I am going to explain you is the cope and drag pattern. It's the very basic pattern. It was used in split pattern also. But in this, the details of the cope and drag pattern is given. There is a pouring basin which actually pours the material inside your cavity. There is a spruce which helps the material to go inside. There is a match plate which helps in matching the cope and drag. There is a riser. Riser has its own specification if at all the material in the cavity is less. So the riser helps in pouring additional material in your cavity so that it helps, basically it helps during solidification. When the material solidifies, starts shrinking. So riser adds additional element is the basic use of riser. And there is a runner. Runner has its own speciality. Runner helps to fill the material in different parts of your cavity. Without the runner, you can't fill the material. If it is a single pattern, it is a small pattern, you can directly pour the material to the basin and it occupies the space. But in a complex pattern, runner is used. Runner is directly connected to the different cavities so that the material could read all the cavities properly. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe our channel Ikira.